All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and remove that degas bottle. Now, before I remove the degas bottle, I'm going to go ahead and drain all the, all the uh, coolant out of the system. Um, this is also going to be a good time for me to go ahead and change my coolant filter here. Um, I want to see how that's been doing. I've had it in there for about 1,500 miles now. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the next thing I do is go ahead and get this all drained down. All right, so to drain the coolant, you're going to need a catch can of some kind. This is where the coolant will drain from. All you got to do is loosen up the little plastic nipple here. Should not be on here very tight. start draining. So the next thing we're going to do is remove these two bolts here and here so that we can pull the degas bottle slightly out so that I can get the wiring harness out of here. These are just eight millimeter bolts. And once this is loose, just wiggle it out of the way, like so. All right, so I forgot to hit record, but you got three bolts here to take this tray and the battery was sitting in out. I'm just gonna slide these bolts back into their spots just so I don't lose them. Next up will be removing the charge air pipe, but first, I want to get this piece here out. It's just kind of wiggles and pops out. No big deal there. And now I can get to the charge air lines with no difficulty at all. Side nice and loose. Get that side nice and loose. We'll get it looser. I do want to upgrade this to one of the metal tubes at some point. I don't like the idea of plastic. Clamp is very loose, but the plastic tube doesn't want to come off. There we go. Goodness. Ooh, quite dirty. I don't want to clean. It's quite dirty. I want to clean that up. All right, time to work on getting a degas bottle out. This will just need a pair of pliers. that from there and then underneath here you have
one big <clears throat> D-gas bottle is out.